Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dominique. I'm 24 years old and I make videos on my personal finance and um, debt-free journey. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So today is Thursday, no, today is Friday. Um, and Fridays are my Saturdays. So I like to try and film on my weekends because during the week I just do not have time. So I get paid on this upcoming Tuesday. My paychecks come in on Tuesdays and this is actually my third paycheck for the month. This is a golden month for me, um, which means that I get three paychecks because I get paid bi-weekly as in every um, two weeks I get paid. So, the month of June is a golden month for me, so I was wondering what I should do with this extra paycheck. Um, it's not really like, I don't consider it extra money because it would have, it would be coming out no matter what. <laughs> um, so I, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it since I already budgeted my other two paychecks to cover this month and then the bills for the upcoming month um so i wasn't really sure what to do with it maybe i could just throw the entire thing to debt um but no i'm not gonna do that so i decided i'm just gonna budget like normal um for the most part and i do have some changes that um i'm gonna share today but before we get into all that i do want to say um if you saw my past a couple other videos ago um of my donation giveaway Jeanette won the donation giveaway and I've been in contact with her and she has decided that the um $50 donation should go to the ACLU so um that will be happening um and she also said that she would match that donation so we're actually able to give $100 um to the ACLU and if you don't know what the ACLU is, they um, they fight for civil liberties. So not only um, for racial equality, but like LGBTQ plus equality, equality, women's rights, equalities, um, pretty much everything. So it's a really good, um, really good organization to be donating to because they are fighting for a plethora of rights which is amazing. So thank you again, Jeanette, um, for doing this. And thank you again to everyone else that did um, enter the giveaway as well. All right, so now that um, I've been able to announce that, let's get into my budget, my third paycheck budget. Okay, so um, also I do wanna say, I think I'm outgrowing doing my budget in my bullet journal because it's the 26th of the month and I, um, I'm i almost out of room on my spending tracker, which I'm normally able to just do one page of, but I've been documenting when I transfer money to different accounts. So that fills up more room. Um, and then with the new changes that I'm having, I'm, I've added some sinking funds and that is taking up more room too. So I don't really know what to do about that. I mean, I can obviously like expand the spending tracker to a second page, um, but I, I don't really want to expand like what my budget is doing to a second page for one paycheck, you know? So I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. I think eventually I would like to purchase the um, budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom because that seems pretty like clear cut and stuff, but I do really like having it all in my bullet journal too. So don't really know how I feel about that, but I just thought I would share that. All right, so let me make sure this is in view. Zoom you in a little bit. All right. So my um, paycheck total for the month right there is 
not for the month. <laughs> My paycheck total for paycheck number three is um, $911.91, which is, um, I think, the highest paycheck that I've received so far. And that's because now I'm being paid um, the Sunday differential because I work on Sundays and um, I don't have those uh, some weird deductions that they were doing for my health care. I talked about it in my last budget video, but that, that's all over with now. So this is probably the highest paycheck that I have received because of that, which is great. I'm a fan of that. Um, all right. So I decided for my third paycheck that I'm going to um, put aside the same amount of money that I usually do for my bills um, per paycheck. That way I'm a little bit ahead now. At least that's how it's working in my mind. And hopefully that just like helps me out a little bit down the line when I do go back to part-time um, because my schedule does fluctuate between full-time, part-time, and intermittent. So that will definitely benefit me. And then my new sinking funds that I added are um, my car tags. I finally was able to register my car in my new state. So I do have um, new registration payments for that. And they said they, they could cover a certain percentage when I switched over and then I have to pay the rest of the percentage. Um, but I don't know if that same thing applies to when I re-register next year. So I'm just gonna, I want that sinking fund to um, be about $200 just because I, have, I honestly have no clue how much it will be to re-register my car or the license plates, I guess. So added that um and then i added a christmas sinking fund and an anniversary sinking fund so my fiance and i's anniversary is in july of this this year so next month and um i've just never really saved up for that before i kind of just buy things on a whim for that so i do want to be more conscientious conscientious is that the word i don't know but I want to be more aware of like how much I'm saving up for it and stuff like that. And this will probably be our last anniversary before we actually get married, depending on which date we pick for next year for our wedding. Um, and then Christmas, um, I these past couple of years, I really haven't been buying much for Christmas, which like, I know Christmas is not about presents and stuff like that, but I do want to be able to give presents to people in my life for Christmas. And with being in internships and stuff, I really wasn't making enough money that I felt comfortable doing that. But now I do want to do that. So um, I am making a Christmas sinking fund and I actually have, um, let me find my list. So I actually have a list here of um, sinking funds that I want to add and holidays is one of them um, aside from Christmas and I'm hoping to be able to like finally have more sinking funds even if I'm not able to contribute too much to them every single paycheck. Um, and I do have a laminator now. I bought a laminator so I can make cash envelopes again. So I will be having more cash envelopes. Also, I can finally go and get cash from the bank again. So the second part of this video will be an actual cash stuffing, um, cash stuffing envelope thingy. What am I trying to say? Stuffing my cash envelopes with actual cash. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so stay tuned for the end of that. Stay tuned for at the end for that. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna get into it. Okay, so rent is always 405. Um, 
and silly me let me get all right so 9 11 91 for the paycheck minus 405 um water it's generally like 15 dollars plus four dollars so um since this isn't covering all of it i'm just gonna put ten dollars towards that electricity it is summertime now so it is hot out so i'm gonna put thirty dollars for that i turned my ac um I fix my AC when I'm when I'm gone, when I'm not in my apartment to be higher a higher temperature. Um, but when I am home, especially at night, I lower it because I cannot sleep if it's too hot. So that has um, kind of been a problem. All right, and then internet is twenty seven fifty. Spotify, it is $9.99, and I am taking, it's $9.99 for the month, and I am taking it out of this paycheck because it's due at the beginning of July, and I won't get my second paycheck until like two weeks into July, or my first paycheck for July. I won't get into until two weeks into July, so this does have to cover, this paycheck has to cover things in the beginning of July. Um, skipping student loans for right now. Car insurance is always 40. Rent and in renter's insurance is always seven. Um, the car tag, so I have to re-register in January, which really isn't fair that I didn't get a full year out of, um, out of my stickers, my car tags, because they set it to change in or to expire in your birthday month instead of one year away from when you get it, which honestly is the dumbest thing ever, <laughs> especially if you have an earlier birthday, but whatever, I'm not trying to deal with them anymore, so, um, Hmm, I don't really know how much I should put in there. I'm going to start off with $10. And then I'll like try and see if they have something online saying how much I will owe. Also, I don't even know if they're going to like charge me how much they're going to charge me. I don't know. That also doesn't even include property tax. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to deal with that stuff later. Not in this paycheck. Um, yeah, that's being dealt with later. So $10 for that. And then car maintenance. I always put $10 into that. Um, I'll honestly probably be using that $10 tomorrow because my car needs to get washed. $5 goes into home. Um, I might be upping that next month because I am trying to, um, my fiance and I are going to be buying a TV and TV stand, not for a little while, but I do want to be able to just pay for that without any problems. $5 into medical and $5 into gifts. Um... 10 goes into my adventure fund, which is like if we're going camping or doing something like really fun, I guess. <laughs> um, usually just related to like outdoor activities, to be honest. Um, my wedding, I, I've been putting $20 in. I might up that soon too. We're going to be looking at venues next month, so I think after that, we'll figure out how much I should be putting towards the wedding. Um, my 
ally account it's pretty new um i'm not trying to be too aggressive with how much i'm putting in there right now so ten dollars under that same with my joint savings account with my fiance also not trying to be too aggressive um for christmas just gonna put five dollars into there and anniversary okay since it's next month I do want to put more than I normally would if I were doing it every single paycheck. So I'm going to wait until the end and see how much we have left over to decide how much I want to put into there. And then cash envelopes. Um, I put quotations around there because sometimes it's cash and sometimes it's not. Like for gas, I don't do cash anymore because it's just too much of a hassle really. So $40 goes into there. I fill up once a week, and it's been under $20, but gas prices are going up again, which is really, uh, I loved seeing the gas at like 160 and now it's at like 190 which makes me sad, but, you know, such is life, and let's see, for groceries, we're gonna do $40 also. Sometimes I go over it, sometimes I don't. It's really hard to budget for groceries, in my opinion, because it really just depends on, like, what kind of things I'm making. Um, hygiene, that gets five. I'm just now realizing you've not been able to see the calculator this whole time. I'm sorry. Alright, um... And then eating out, entertainment, and spending, I'll get $10. Which is really $30. Alright, so, and investing, I'm not going to put, um, actually, I going to put $6 into that, but that's just a reoccurring, um, kind of transaction thing for one of my investing accounts so all right so we have 171 dollars and still can't see that 171 dollars and 42 cents left over and like i said we have my student loans um and anniversary left over but i do like to put the majority of whatever i have left over towards my credit card so with that being said i'm gonna put 50 into the student loans and i'm gonna put hmm I'm going to put 70 towards anniversary, which means that the rest of it, 5142, will go to my credit card. And normally I would have preferred the credit card to get more than like anniversary, but because that's literally next month, um, I'm going to put more towards that. But after that, it'll be, I'll bump it down by a lot. Okay, so that's pretty much all that I have for my budget right now. That is going to be a zero-based budget, but I'll add it all up really quickly um, to put the budget total there. All right, so total did add up to the same as with paycheck, which means it is a zero base budget. And then on Tuesday, when I actually get my paycheck and the direct deposit, um, I will go to the bank, get cash, and um, show you guys all that. So for you all, that'll be like, 
literally like right now but for me that's a few more days so see you all in a little bit all right i am now back um so i was supposed to um come back to this on tuesday which was my payday um but it's now friday and i've been dog sitting this week and he just requires a lot of attention and i'm over at his house like staying at the dog's house um, instead of my place and I didn't want to bring like all my filming stuff over there aka just not like my tripod um, but also I just really have not had time to sit down and go over this because he demands attention at every second so um, I'm at my place right now because it's my weekend so I was able to like slip away for a little bit and I went to the bank today went up to use very tm and it was just like locked because it's by appointment only so i don't know if i have to make an appointment to use the atm or if they had the drive through atm and i just didn't see it um but i figured like i tried <laughs> and i'll try again on my way back to um the dog's place but i just needed to get this video finished um so i don't actually have cash to stuff but i do want to show you what i did work on this week and that is um i bought a laminator and paper and i made stuff so um these are giant envelopes one is um holding all of my envelopes for my sinking funds and then same with my cash envelopes they're kind of thick so I don't know how long they will really last for um I mean I think I just run it through the laminator again if they start to peel apart but yeah so those are cool I just use sharpie to write on there and it's not like I I didn't use a ruler or anything like that so that's why it's not centered very well but yeah so I made did I make any new cash envelopes okay so um these are all my regular cash envelopes, but I did make this new one. Look at how pretty this paper is. I love it. This just like screams summertime. I don't have a label on here because I don't really know what I want to use it for. Um, and so I figured like I can just use it for whatever I want. And then on the tracker that I put inside of it, I'll just write what it is on there. And then that way, it's not like I'm committing this to one category. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. Um, and then for my sinking funds, I do have new sinking funds. So let me... Alright, so these are my new sinking funds cash envelopes. Um, this one, I put my cash in here for um intermittent which i was keeping in my disney envelope um so now this one is empty i just transferred it into here if you're new here um intermittent is just like when i'm not working i won't be working in like the winter months um so i'm just saving up for that just in case because i don't know like if i'm gonna get like a part-time like seasonal job or if I just go on unemployment um haven't really figured that out yet so yeah this is also another really cute uh paper kind of like watercolory um put that over there and then this one is for um holidays and also really cute and it did this is like a double-sided one so I don't know if you can see on the inside but it's like more of a a large floral in there but I like this side better much more simple um and so this like that that blue one I don't have a label on the front I just put holidays wrote that on the tracker there that way um just in case I want to use this one for something else I can and then these ones I do have labels for so I have one for Sam's Club um and this one is another one that had like a different print on the inside. It's just like more of a teal color in there. And I have a Sam's Club one because um, I never budget for Sam's Club. And it's not like 
you can go in there and spend like $40 if that's your grocery budget. Like you're gonna be spending at least $100 when you go in there. So um, I'm just trying to save up a little bit of money every time I get a paycheck so that when I do have a Sam's Club run, I don't have to like put it all on my credit card or whatever. And um, the, the budget mom, she, had, she has the same thing for Costco. So I figured that was a really good idea and that I should do that. So now I am. Then this one is for um, my fiance's and I anniversary. It's this month, so um, it's empty for now. And I like didn't think of, I didn't think of making a sinking fund for it beforehand. So um, I mean, you saw in my budget that like I will be taking out cash to put in here, but yeah. So after this month, once it's empty again. Um, I will be routinely adding to it. That way I don't have to worry about it for next year. And then the last one that I made is for Christmas. Um, it's not really something I ever thought of really saving for, but I definitely should. Also, this one is a lot thinner than, um, than the other ones by like half an inch, I think. You can see that there. Um, I was trying a, a new way out of cutting it so that you can you make two envelopes with one sheet of paper and it worked like I had enough paper left over that I could make another envelope out of it but I I'm just not a fan of how thin it is I really like the size of these ones better because eventually if this one gets stuffed too much I just feel like it won't work as well I don't know. We'll see. We will test it out. But yeah, so those are my um, new cash envelopes here. And I'm sorry I don't have cash to actually stuff. I I know a lot of people do enjoy watching that part of budgeting videos, but um, it just didn't want to work for me for um, for my schedule for today and like I said I just needed to get this video out so next time for sure we will be stuffing cash in the cash envelopes um but I mean if you like you can I'll take the intermittent money out and we have 140 saved up so 20 40 60 80 120 100 um 10 I mean <laughs> 130 35 40 and then this one is like torn up, but hopefully that's still usable. Put in the cash envelope and look at that. We stuffed it, we stuffed an envelope today. So there you go, we got a little bit in there. All right, so that is pretty much it for the video. Again, I'm sorry it <laughs> did not work out all the way, um, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. And oh, I do wanna say, we are so close to 200 subscribers, which is so exciting. Um, I think we're at like 170 right now when I'm filming this. And so hopefully we can hit 200 soon. And that will just be so amazing. Because I never really thought that um, like this many people would be interested in watching my videos. But I really appreciate you all. Um, and you all always leave great comments too. And I just love that, love talking to you all. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for the end of this video. Um, stay tuned soon for my June budget wrap up. Um, I'm literally like about to film that right after I'm done with this. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, so. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Also hit the thumbs up button, the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time. Bye!